to share with you this morning this testimony which tells of God's goodness. More than a year and a half ago, I, along with officers of the Department of Education, Region Number 10, went to the Burbies River to conduct a workshop. Everything went well for the few days. And on the final day, we headed home. On our way, about half an hour into our journey, the bus in which we were traveling encountered some difficulties. Try as he may, the driver could not have gotten the bus to work well. He tried several times. Eventually, the bus came to a final stop. Now, so we decided that we will have to make contact so that we can get help to get the bus and to get us out of the trail. However, every effort to make contact was futile for there was no signal. At about 8 o'clock that evening, we saw a light. You know that ray of light? And yes, we said yes, this is some hope. And so we decided to stop that vehicle that was coming in the trail. Fortunately, when the vehicle came up, it was the Regional Democratic Council's vehicle. And so we asked the driver to give us a pull out from the trail to Linden. He willingly agreed. So we tied the vehicles together, our front to his back, and the driver took off. And when I say took off, I mean literally took off. He was speeding and I was scared, uh, I mean, for a moment because it seemed as though the vehicle that we were in would have crashed into the back of his vehicle with, you know, with any sudden stop. So I began to pray. Then I engaged another believer who was in the vehicle and we prayed and we prayed. We said, Lord, have mercy. We are seeing danger here, Lord, have mercy. And we prayed, and we prayed. Suddenly, the vehicle that was towing us turned to the right, heading across the road. And then the vehicle that we were in, since nothing on it was working, it headed in front. And so the, the, the rope that was tied to the vehicles burst, and the other vehicle that was towing us turned over like three times and our vehicle ran off the road straight into the trees and where it was heading we all knew so I held on to the headrest in front of me and I prayed I said Lord have mercy here tonight have mercy Lord Jesus and I claim a few of God's promises and I held on to my dear life on that 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 um, that headrest in front of me. The bus that we were in suddenly came to a stop. And I felt relieved. Folks were crying, they were confused, people started trembling, but I was very calm, thank God. When we came out of that bus, and we looked at where that bus stopped, brethren, it is was unbelievable it was as if someone lifted our bus and set our bus on these rocks you hear me literally set the bus on these rocks there were rocks in front of the bus there were rocks on the left side of the bus there were rocks on the right side of the bus and there were rocks behind the bus so the bus could not move to go anywhere else 
and the Zalat area has a slope. So you could just imagine when we thought of the fact that a man's vehicle years ago overturned and went down that slope and they found him days after dead. You could just imagine how scared people were, but I thank God that he is the deliverer. And so indeed, I can claim this promise that David has made in Psalm 91 11. And he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. God bless you. Let's keep trusting God.